Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Brad's Angling Adventures. Today I thought I'd take you through um, a couple of different types of disgorges that you can get and how to use them because believe it or not there are people that get out fishing that are not overly confident in using the disgorger so I thought I'd take this opportunity to go through them and quickly show you how to, how to use them. So, the different types that you can get. This is the most common type that you'll probably come across. Um, you can pick them up in most tackle shops. They're relatively cheap. These are plastic, two different ends as you see. Um, different sizes for see, different size hooks. Um, Let's say they, they come in a range of different sizes and different styles. I've got a few here. Um, let's see, you can see these two are slightly different in size. The small ends, the orange one's bigger, and even the big ends, the orange one's slightly bigger than the yellow one. Um, I've got this aluminium one here. These are obviously slightly more expensive than the plastic. Only got one end to it, as this end's got a hole in it that you can put onto a lanyard or whatever you want to keep it on. And this one here, it's got the two ends on it, but also, if I take it apart, it's got what I use as a knot picker. about to see that. Um, I use that as a knot picker um, if I can't get my loop to loop connections apart from obviously my hook length to my main line I use that to get them apart make it a little bit easier for me. Don't know if it is a knot picker that's what I use it for if anyone out there knows any different let me know in the comments. Um, be nice to hear from some, some of you. Um, and then you've got this type of disgorger. Um, this one's actually made by Guru, dearer than the obviously the basic plastic ones that you can get and the little aluminium ones. Different design as well. As you can see, it's just got that hole with a little gap there for your line to go through. So there you go, slightly different design to the others. Um, and we'll have a look, see if we can show you how to use them. Right, we've got our disgorgers here that I've shown you. And we've hopefully caught a fish. Our main line is going to our fishing rod. And obviously our fish is hooked. So... We get our disgorger and what we do is, you can see the slot there, is we wrap our main line around the disgorger so it goes through the slot and then we run, we've got to run the disgorger down the line into the fish's mouth and locate a hook and give it a push down. And there, as you can see, it's in the disgorger, and we just bring it out of the fish's mouth. Obviously, we need to keep the line tight when we're doing this, because if you don't keep your line tight, it's not going to work. Okay, so we just do it again. I hook myself in the thumb. So we make out that as the fish's mouth and get our line into that slot on the disgorger, run it down the line, locate your hook and then just give it a little push and it will unhook from inside the fish's mouth and then just bring it out. Okay, so that's how you use that type. 
Now, this type here, which as I said is the Guru one, which I've gone over to using, I find slightly easier. So, I have my thumb as the fish again. You've got to use your imagination a bit here, guys. So what we do is, with this one, as you can see, hopefully you can see that, it's got a slot at the side of that hole. Okay, so you slot your line into there, and then just run it down into your fish's mouth, and it's off. And I find that a lot easier To be honest with you, I'll just go for it again. Keep your line tight. Get your line in through the slot. Down your line again, same as you would with the other one. And locate your hook and it's off which I think is easier than that type. But it's personal preference, really. Whatever one you feel you get on with better. So that's how we use the different types of disgorgers that we've got. Um, as I said, I, I prefer using the Guru type because I find it easier. It's entirely up to you guys which one you use. It's personal preference, whichever one you find easier. Um, but please do practice the way I've just shown you. You may get a few holes in your thumb from the hook, um, but it's worth it for the fish's sake because we want to get them unhooked and back in the water as, as quick as we can, really. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Um, hope it's helped a few of you, um, and if it has, or even if it hasn't, hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, tight lines.